Hello everyone and welcome back to another Raiders video. In this video, I'll be giving my thoughts and reactions to the Raiders hiring Tom Telesco, so let's get into it. So the Raiders hired Tom Telesco as the next GM. Kind of a surprise, but really in the last 24 hours, it seemed less like it was unlikely because we did bring him in for a second interview. The only reported second interview that we actually did. So I, I think it did make more sense. Of course, we thought for the past couple weeks that it'd be Champ Kelly Red Dodds, one of the two, one of the two. All of a sudden, third candidate emerges as a wild card, and all of a sudden he gets a job. Big part of it was, of course, Champ Kelly and Ed Dodds, both in my opinion, are qualified uh, options. I like Champ Kelly more, but I also like the Dodds a lot. I like him back in 2022 as well, but we ended up hiring Tom Klosko, who is a former GM. I feel semi-okay with this move, but at the same time, semi-not okay with this move. I did think that we had two better options available. I did want Champ Kelly for the continuity, but there are pros. There are actual pros to hiring Tom Klosko, and that's obviously being realistic. Not just saying that because now he's our guy and I and I have to support him because I think he is also a good candidate. But I thought that would not be the move for us at this point. So he's 51 years old. He was a Chargers GM for 10 years. Me personally, I was actually a fan of him for the past couple of years. I thought he was pretty good with the Chargers. And then about, let's say, mid-season of this season, when I saw the Chargers were struggling, I kind of thought that he should get some blame too, the same way Brandon Staley was getting blamed. Everyone said that Brandon Staley sucks, which is true, I agree, but... I thought Tom Telesco was not getting the blame that he also deserved. And that's why he ended up getting fired with Brand Staley. So, me personally, it's not like a guy that I've always hated on or, or always been a fan of. I actually liked his work before this season. And of course, this season, I thought he should have got fired, which did happen. But Tom Telesco is still a qualified option, even though he did get fired recently. Champ Kelly might still stay on the staff as an assistant GM, the same thing he already was. So maybe just reverting. The Panthers hired a new GM, which is huge because that was pretty much only other competition. So, we can still keep Champ Kelly in the building. As an, as an assistant GM, I would love that. Of course, not the move that he wanted, right? He wanted to be the GM, obviously. But keeping his role as assistant GM would not be bad either. And Ed Dodd is probably back to the Colts. I think eventually he'll get a job with someone, but that someone will not be us for the second time in a row. Me personally, I wanted Champ Kelly. I was okay with Ed Dodds if we did not go with Champ Kelly, but Tom Klosko was not the even second option for me. I'm still okay with this because he does bring, bring pros. The guy can actually draft pretty well. And I think in terms of the drafting, there's like two different ways... There's two different like areas when you talk about drafting. Can he draft well in the first round? And can he draft well outside the first round? And he, he's kind of done both. Us personally, we've been able to draft outside the first round actually pretty effectively in the past four years. But in the first round, not uh, effectively. We still have to see if Tyree Wilson pans out. But if we go back, the history of us drafting in the first round is not pretty good. And Tom Telesco, I think, is a good drafter. So I do like that. But what worries me now is free agency because that's one of his, pro, his cons. He likes to overpay a lot, which we have done in the past, right? John Gruden and Mike Mayall like to also overpay players in free agency. But that concerns me because Tom Plesko does the same thing. Now, the bad thing is it may seem good like when we're, let's say we're in March and we're all of a sudden offering guys big contracts and we're signing guys or maybe our family gets hyped. It could be great, right? Like we're building our team, we're building our team, but those guys might not pan out. And all of a sudden we're in, cap space, we're in a bad cap space situation the same way the Chargers are now. And we've done that before, right? Corey Littleton, we were so hyped about, and he didn't play well for us. Among other guys, you know, Kenyon Drake, you know, was was caught entering his second year, and all of, you know, all, especially we saw the charge with J.C. Jackson. The big contracts do not always pan out, and that does concern me with him. But the drafting, I actually like. Now, a positive is that he does know the Chargers and the whole division. He's been there for ten years. He is a, you know, he 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 is familiar with. Uh, so I did say I want a continuity with uh, bringing back Sham Kelly, which if we do bring him back as an assistant GM, at least we will still have that. But with Tom Telesco, even though he wasn't with us, he was still in our division for 10 years. So it's not the same, but at least he does have experience in this division, which is definitely something that we can like to have with us. Also, how he performed with Antonio Pierce is a question because, of course, they have no ties at all together. And we'll see how they work together. If Sham Kelly is back, is back, that can make me feel better. Patrick Graham should still be back unless Seattle offers him the job because we did keep AP. I thought that was the only way that we would not have Patrick Graham if AP left or if he got a head coaching job, and in which case, congrats to him. But I still think we can bring him back. We still have an offensive coordinator hired at make. We've had a lot of interviews. Zach Robinson from the Rams. I kind of like everyone else we've interviewed. Alex Van Pelt, uh, the Bengals quarterback coach. But they might just keep and replace their offensive coordinator who's to the left of the Titans to be their head coach. And also... Uh, Luke Etsy, which I, I just don't get at all. Cliff Kingsbury, we've heard if Pierce gets a job, he might be interested in getting him. Well, we haven't interviewed him at all. And the four guys we interviewed, the only one I would like is Zach Robinson from the Rams. With or without any of the jam candidates that we hired, still have a big question mark at offensive coordinator because that thing is going to decide our success next year. And hopefully we nailed the hire over the head. Of course, I have some other position coaches to get in now, but that's expected, right, with Pierce uh, coming in and uh, 
being a full-time head coach now. It would have been, I think, even more turnaround if we uh, brought someone else in. But with Pierce, we'll keep most of our staff members, get a new offensive coordinator. So my overall thoughts on Tom Telesco, he is a solid candidate, has had a solid pass in the past, right? Some some pros, some cons. He has built not the worst roster of the Chargers. I think their roster is kind of overhyped anyway, so I don't really like when people say he built a great roster because in my opinion, it was not that great. Anyway, but definitely good enough to do better than it actually did, which was not on him, right? More of the, co more of the coaching staff that he had over there with Brandon Staley and Anthony Lynn before that. And I do think that this could work out for us. Like, I'm not going to say this is going to hold our franchise back. It absolutely will not. He's a qualified GM and has had success being a GM. So I'm not going to say it's going to hold us back. Especially, I'll feel better about it if we do keep Sham Kelly in the building. And then Dodds, we already said no to him once. And unfortunately, it's going to have to be a second time. Anyway, that's my thoughts and reactions to the Raiders hiring Tom Telesco as our next GM. I'm Mark Tool, and thank you for watching.